हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू चैनल कावेडिया सर एंड अ कंप्लीट न्यू कोर्स आडिनो लेस आडिनो नाउ सीइंग दिस नेम द फर्स्ट थिंग कम्स इन माइंड व्हाट इज दिस आडिनो लेस आडिनो नाउ हियर आडिनो लेस आई हैव मेंशनड फॉर नॉट यूजिंग द फिजिकल आडिनो एंड आई मेंशन आडिनो सो दैट आई कैन यूज वर्चुअल आडिनो मींस इफ आई डोंट हैव एनी आडिनो hardware with sensors and all but i can simulate them exactly in the same way where i am doing physically now in this virtual environment there is arduino there is a breadboard there is sensor power supplies etc all the components which are needed to make the hardware and we can write the code for that now the question comes writing the code uh, may not be all will be that much efficient in writing the code but then there is no issue with it even if you don't know the programming language of that particular hardware like i don't know what will be taking here you can write the code by dragging and dropping the blocks yes this is block programming in which already the blocks are defined you have to just customize those blocks that i'll be explaining you in this now this is a new paradigm in programming that is called as block programming now there are all blocks defined i have to just drag and drop those blocks after dragging and dropping i have to customize something some points and my hardware is ready to work and then i have to simulate that hardware so the main feature is like you do not have to have a physical connection physical hardware but everything you can do virtually now what are the benefits of this software so very first thing you can design the prototype and test it without physically making it it is easy to use no need to install and all are open source and the very important is free of cost they are not charging anything to use there is no charge for using this particular softwares few such softwares are xod which is also called as visual programming language for controller and in this everything is represented as a node a node is a block that represents something and what that something is it may be sensor it may be motor it may be relay or it may be some equations or arithmetic operations or logical operations or comparison operators all these things are taken as a node or a block this is all same for all the softwares the second example is visu ino visu ino so it is also a visual programming tool the third software here is tinkercad now this is also a open source block programming software now in this three softwares that is xod visu ino tinkercad they give us a programming facility in terms of blocks and actually code is generated which we can upload in the hardware and test whenever we'll be having the hardware and if you are interested in testing on the hardware one more software is fritzing now fritzing is basically used for prototyping documentation means if i want to generate the documentation for my prototype i can use fritzing it helps in making circuit diagrams and also it helps in making pcb layouts and manufacturing pcbs so that is what is the importance of fritzing and one more such software is node red so some of the few softwares i list out again what i have like uh, discussed with you that is xod second is visuno third is tinkercad fourth is fritzing and fifth is node red now in this my series i'll be taking help of tinkercad and node red now this software you can use for making the prototypes now who can make all these prototypes who are the navy learners means who are freshers their hobbies can use it even professionals can use it and you can utilize this in this lockdown period because to get the hardware is too difficult in this lockdown period so i have selected this software so that your lockdown period can be utilized and you can very nicely generate the hardware prototypes 
and which can be used specially by the students of diploma bsc it bsc cs degree engineering and you can start thinking of your project on iot so i hope uh, what will be the course content is clear to you and now in my next session i'll be explaining you the complete dashboard of tinkercad thank you